Hello Virgo, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your July 2024 mini tarot reading. I have a couple little announcements I'd like to make. Uh, before we begin, I will be in um, Melbourne, Florida with Spirit Fest with Anne. Uh, she has her uh, repurposed leather purses. We'll be there on August 3rd and 4th. And the address there will be 625 East Hibiscus Boulevard. And that's in Melbourne, Florida. Also a shout out to Jax, who I met at the last at Punta Gorda. It's so nice to meet new friends and, and vendors there. She's someone you're going to want to check out too. Um, also, please, if you like what you see today, like and share. Uh, subscribe to my uh, channel if you would. And if you would like a personal reading just about you, please remember this is a general reading. I've included all of this information down below, but my website is www.soulstarbliss.com. And please follow us on Facebook. And thank you again for stopping by to see me. So let's see. Oh, at the end, we will do the love and money pull also. So let's see what is coming up for all of us Virgos <laughs> for July. Ah, here we go. Let's see what is coming for us. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh my goodness. Woohoo. Oh, busy, 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 busy people we're going to be. Um, <clears throat> here it just seems like I, some of us, are, some Virgos are going to realize who they are. Okay, they're going to see their, their worth and see what's coming for them. I also feel like there could be an increase in your business if you have one or work, something like that. And it says it's time to stop worrying about the past. We can't change that. You know, if we could, it would be so awesome. But our best course of action, and I think I've said this earlier, is to learn what we can from the past. You know, we have to, it, we don't even have to um, not repeat it, but if we learn from it, guess what? It stops happening. The lesson is learned. It quits happening. Messages this month are going to be very important on the email, Gmail, phone, whatever. It just says don't miss your messages, you know, because there's something that is important that you're going to get that maybe there was a change in something, an invite to something that you're definitely going to not want to forget. And also it says take time for yourself, okay? If you're meditating, I've done this myself and I've got up too soon. <laughs> so now I say, are we done? Um, but it just says, make sure you listen to me, whether you're meditating or just in general. If you're on your way out the door and someone's talking to you, I would stop and hear what they have to say to finish their the, whatever they're saying. Also, I feel confident about wants, wishes, daydreams. I got the nine of cups. It says wishes could definitely be granted or you're going to see that they are progress in things that you've wanted. The Empress, to me, I hear pregnancy for some. Uh, but it also can mean abundance, which is joy, bliss, and ease. Can mean money too, for sure. But it says your world is going to get real busy for some of you right now. If you've been asking to have your business grow, buckle up because it's going to grow pretty quickly. Oh, I have Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So I know the new beginnings are definitely meant for you. Um, and it's not that anything has to change a whole lot, but it's like getting some kind of notoriety either at work or business where things improve for you. And it says, again, remember, we can't change the past. Even if we made mistakes, we're going to have to forgive ourselves and move on. It says preparedness in reverse. It says, look how you got to where you are today, in a sense. It's kind of like reliving the past, but we do that so we don't continue the same, um, <coughs> the same mistakes, maybe. Excuse me, got a lot of ragweed outside. It's really irritating my throat here. Sorry. <clears throat> it says just because things were difficult in the past doesn't mean they have to be. Sometimes the, the hardest lessons we've learned are lifelong lessons, but once we get them, change is definitely on the way. You may be hearing from someone from the past or several people from the past, and I'm going to business here. It looks like customers, clients from the past are going to resurface and contact you again. Is that for everybody? Not sure. I hope it is. Um, but it says here, be true to yourself first. And joy, bliss, and ease certainly could be yours. <coughs> it says the strength that you demonstrate right now is going to bring you that ace of cups. When your mind is filled with spirit, fills your body to overflowing, what you think about, you become. Um, okay, I feel like there could be contracts or um, agreements made. Okay, and that it, it, it could be at business. It could be, I know, I know it's, it's not, it could be personal, but I really feel like it's going to be with business or um, where you work, something like that. 
and it says it's good for everybody. You know, if we all agree, it, it, it seems easy. It's when one person doesn't uh, stay to the agreement that there could be a problem, which makes somebody a fool in that picture. And I don't think it's you. Um, so just be um, true to your word. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you say you're not going to do something, don't do it. Something similar like that. But it says you're going to be busy. There's got a lot of stuff going on around you. It says opportunities to improve your finances. And that is the Six of Pentacles. And a lot of that will have to do with the choices you make as to what you want to do. Or what you're willing to do. Um, you know, most Virgos, they, they will overwork themselves and forget to take a break. If you need a break, take one. If you need to step back, you know, uh, and take care of yourself, you know, get a massage, your nails done, whatever, hair done, whatever it might be, do something good for yourself. It says the sun card is yours, and that is joy. Bring yourself some much needed joy. It says your excuses are gone now. And if you haven't made time for the love department, it might be a good month that uh, maybe you're going to meet someone. But I almost feel like those of you that are single, some of you are going to meet someone through somebody. I have said that earlier today, too. So if you get an invitation to go somewhere with a friend, I would go if I were you. But again, you do what you want. Improvement in finances uh, to do with work. And it says don't give your power away. It says just because... Um, you have a discussion, let's say at work, and you'd want to do it one way and someone else wants to do it the other way. Negotiate, work it out. It'll be better than you think. Maybe you'll come to the conclusion that you can do it your way and I'll do it my way and we'll meet in the middle. Um, and don't let darkness, sadness from the past, disappointments rule today um, or tomorrow or the next day. It just says that spirit's got your back and I hope you know that by now. And with that said, it says, Wheel of Fortune brings things quickly to you. And don't forget who you are, Virgo. You're a chariot, one who can achieve greatness. Three of Cups says celebrations this month for you are right before you. And um, it says, try not to be bossed around. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's all I got. And I don't even know who that's for. It says, try not to be bossed around. So with that said, we're going to pick these up and go to our love and money pool. Let's see here. Let's see what is going on here. Toot toot. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> okay, I did shuffle these already, so we're just going to cut and see what's coming up for the love department first for Virgos this month. Let's see here. Love yourself, Virgo. I don't know why I keep hearing that. Love yourself first. Uh, King of Pentacles. Ooh, the Seven of Cups. Oh, and the Five of Swords, or the Five of Pentacles, excuse me. It says here, don't let ghosts from the past dance through your dreams or your wants and wishes. You know, and that would be like, okay, the last relationship I was in was really bad or, or whatever it might be. That's over with. You have to be able to be brave enough to take some of that stone off that heart and, and, and try again. You know, if you choose to be alone, that's okay. But if you really want to move forward in love, you really have to. Um, like all those pictures you saw or all those wants and wishes that you had about this, they're available to you. But you're going to have to do a little work yourself, too, to get to that point. So let's see what's coming up in the money department here. Let me do a quick shuffle. What is coming up in finances for Virgo? <clears throat> for July. Here we go. Let's do... Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, let's see. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. And let's cut these and see what three cards came up for us today. <clears throat> oh, the High Priestess. Oh, the Four of Wands. And again, this Five of Pentacles. I mean, I really shuffled these too. Okay, here it says, again, sadness from the past disappointments. Don't dwell on those. High priestesses, there's already something in the works for you in the finances. So over the next four weeks, is it four months? No, for, over the next four weeks, you're going to see blessing. There's going to be a blessing somehow with money. And it says you're strong enough to make it through those four weeks. But be thankful and, and always remember to have an attitude of gratitude when it comes to the blessings that come to you. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. I so appreciate you dropping by. 
I will see you next month and see what happens. Have a great month.